What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we're gonna go over some pricing, we're gonna go over market talk, MT methods, and whatnot, all in this video. So, if you guys would please let's hit that 100 like goal for some MT giveaways on the Twitter and Instagram, make sure to follow those socials down below in the description. And yeah, um, we're gonna go over market talk, we're gonna pop some packs in this video gonna go over high tier cards sets pretty much everything all in this video so let's get into some packs let's talk about the market in which the market is pretty crashed um here we go we get Kobe white again all right we got the trash Cole Anthony but yo um these packs are really bad if I were you if you play 2k every day and you love popping packs these are not the packs to pop these are the worst packs in the game period okay Usually when I pull 600,000 MT worth, 700,000 MT worth, you get some decent stuff. In these packs, I have gotten absolute garbage, bro. Uh, the best thing I pulled was Hakeem and Sean Marion, which equals out to around 200,000 MT. So I lost about 500 to 400 to 600,000 MT off these packs because I've been spamming them. And as you can see, man, these packs are absolute trash stay away from them that's the one thing i wanted to say in this video these are the worst packs i think 2k has ever released even though there's five opals in them guys five opals and we did just sell hakeem guys he's pretty good i just don't like how he can, i don't like the whole small forward hakeem thing this is my squad right now that i'm rocking it's pretty much free it's nothing crazy whatsoever this is my bench really nothing crazy okay let's talk about some things let's talk about tokens let's talk about market talk right now man you gotta get your tokens up because they've been pouring tokens out on us okay i think a token market update is coming this week it has to come we're getting closer and closer to where they drop no more content i say like two to three weeks more of content token market update most likely coming this week which means if you don't have your tokens up it's kind of going to be an l we're going to get some fire fire token rewards what exactly i don't really know but something big something a lot better than these token rewards if you really want a token reward the only person i suggest is dmar DeRozan. every other token and pet it's not bad but if i were to spend some tokens right now it most likely be dmar DeRozan. he's pretty solid but other than that man let's get us some market let's go over some opal some high price cards and whatnot so lamar odom guys um this card is insane but here's what i think okay i've had the prime card he's pretty decent he's nothing crazy he's okay this card is insane as well, but here's the thing, in my opinion, here's still a top point guard in the game. It's Giannis. It's simply this card, guys. This card with a three-point shoe with the, yeah, he's 30 Hall of Fame badges. He also has 18 gold badges. I don't care. He has the best animations in the game. I still run him as my point guard. I recently just sold him to make profit, but here's the thing, guys. I'm going to get him back. Why, bro? This card with a three-point shoe is still unstoppable at this stage in the game. I don't know how. He is so OP. He's simply the GOAT. And if I were you guys, I would try to make MT off his price. As you can see, it's 155 to 100K gap. You could consistently bid on this card. I did it the other day. I bid on this card for around 110K and I sold him for 160 overnight. This card is very easy to get as long as there's not a lot of people on the market, which usually happens later on at night. So later on at night, I would recommend you guys do hop up on the Giannis filter maybe even try sniping him out a couple times i did miss some buyouts on him so yeah definitely a solid filter try to snipe him out we're gonna go over some other filters to make a lot of mt and this one man oko dre miss lebron james on this if you guys don't know oko dre make sure to go follow him it's oko dre it's on youtube he's a 2k youtuber as well um bro small forward prime series three or maybe just prime series three in general if you want to buy a luca um small forward man is lebron lamar odom and paul george i'm pretty sure in this filter Lamar Odom, Paul George, um, is LeBron not on here? Is he shooting guard? Yeah, so LeBron is on here. This is insanity, man. There's three small forwards you can snipe out and make a lot of MT. So 
Lamar Odom, Paul George, Kawhi, and, and LeBron James. So if I were you, this filter right here should make you a lot of MT as long as you're quick with the snipes. And once again, if you do want to snipe and make some MT, um, it's simple, man. You don't even have to you don't even have to move the minimum buyout. In my opinion, I like moving the minimum bid to 550 and the buyout to 550. Let's just put the, yeah, 550 and 550. And you could just refresh like this. A couple snipes should pop up within the hour. If you get them, you make about 100, at least 100,000 MT on whoever you get. So yeah, this snipe filter should make you a lot of MT. And it really should. So let's get into the next filter, man. It's the pink diamond filter. Now, here's another thing I actually want to show you because I actually lost a lot of MT off this. So Pink Diamond Filter also consists of bidding. In my opinion, if you could bid and you know pricing, you can make a lot of MT. For instance, man, Jeff Green, I put him up for 500 bid. Uh, I was trying to sell him and he sold for 1450. His quick sell is 3000 MT, okay? Whoever got that Jeff Green made about 4000 MT that easily, just all bid sniping. So that's some tips for you guys as well. If you guys know pricing, You could make a lot of MT this way. I've seen it done. Like that Ben Wallace might be something right there. So let's check it out. Ben Wallace, 11K. Oh, he's already at 14K, 10K. So we're going to bid up on him for 11, 12, 9. I, of course, you got to bid it. But you know what I'm saying is you got to try it out, man. Pink diamond snipes are key. 4,400, 4,900. That's a snipe right there. He's probably going for around 7 ish. Dale Ellis for 4,900. As you guys can see <clears throat> in this video, you could easily bid snipe. Trey Young for 36. That's a nice snipe. We're going to put it up to 37.50. We got out bidded. I think he might be worth a little more, but I'm not going to take the risk. Joe Cabo for 3,500. You could quick sell him for pretty much that price. But what I'm saying is, man, Dane Lillard, 1,700. We'll go 22. We'll go 25, 28. Oh my God. Of course. Of course, in the video, kids are going to do this. But when the markets crash, especially Fridays, it's very easy to snipe that way. It's very easy. Right now, it is Saturday. The market is definitely slower. And those packs are a buzz. It's going to be a little harder to do that on these days. But when the markets crash and it's flooded on Fridays, Thursdays, whatever, bid sniping pink diamonds is straight cash, okay? Um, 3,500 right there. Bill Lambeer. I missed it. But yeah, this pink diamond filter with the cheapest buyout is very good. And I 110% recommend you guys try it out. Especially, we're going to go over some other filters in this video to make you MT. Galaxy Opal, cheapest value. Um, you should be able to snipe out a ton of Sean Marion's, a ton of Lillard's on this filter. They were popping up like crazy yesterday. I missed a ton of them, bro. I could have made so much profit. I kept taking L's. And yeah, this filter, man, is very good. You don't know what could pop up. There could be the most goaded snipe on here. You got to try it out. You are probably most likely going to get the newer cards for very cheap. What I recommend is buying out Diamond Larry Hughes and Diamond Terry because once you do that, you could enable them out even though they're not the Opals. So try to buy out their cheap cards. You can buy their cheap cards for around 5,000 MT and then you could just simply enable them and you won't see Larry Hughes or Terry on the filter and you could up this filter to higher. And also, if you are sniping, if you have any OP cards in your collection, make sure to throw them in the auction house and make, make sure you get the enable filter correctly because if you're enabling out, like, let's say you have Opal Giannis and Embiid. It's kind of an L. And also, guys, I'm probably going to make a video this week. I'm probably going to buy out every single buyable Opal and do a huge hour snipe challenge with every single Galaxy Opal bought, which means the Enable Filter Galaxy Opal everything bought out, which probably costs around 2.5 mil. I could get every single Opal in the game for a buyout, okay? So that means every single Opal I don't have that's not buyable is snipable which means almost every refresh i should be getting snipes like Giannis, rashad lewis kevin durant um lamar odom it just keeps going on and on and that list is insane we're going to show you one snipe filter one method <clears throat> before we do end it it's glitch galaxy opal man you just gotta buy out hidu and really that's it man just hidu and dirt and then you got this whole filter filled with Shaq. um who else lamar odom hakeem olajuwon so yeah this filter is pretty goaded I wish you guys the best of luck. And honestly, other than this, that's all we really got for the video. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content because there's probably content coming later, most likely locker codes. And yeah, guys, that's really all we got for the video. So hope you did enjoy. Have a good one. Stay tuned for more content. Peace.